What is the difference between rootkit and bootkit? In this video, we would try to understand that. A rootkit is a collection of programs that can give administrator level access to a computer to the attackers. The term rootkit is derived from the words root and kit. A rootkit is a set of programs of tools that give root level or administrator level access to the attackers and hence the name. There are four different types of rootkits. User mode rootkit, kernel mode rootkit, hybrid rootkit and firmware rootkit. A user mode rootkit does not alter the operating system kernel of the infected system. It infects a system silently and runs on the system with administrative privileges. It can alter the security configuration of the system and launch itself at the time of system start. A kernel mode rootkit on the other hand can change the operating system kernel. As a result, the kernel of the infected system becomes untrusted and it becomes challenging to detect and remove the rootkit. A hybrid rootkit combines both user mode and kernel mode programs and a firmware rootkit infects a system firmware. It hides itself in the system firmware when the system shuts down and reinstalls itself when the system starts. As a result, this type of rootkit is challenging to remove. A bootkit is a kernel mode rootkit that modifies the startup code of a computer so that the malware can run every time the computer boots. A bootkit often changes the master boot record or volume boot record of a computer for that purpose. A master boot record or MBR is a particular type of boot sector that holds information on how the logical partitions are organized on the system. And a volume boot record or VBR is a type of boot sector that contains machine code to initiate the boot process of the system. A VBR is the fast sector in a data storage device and it is invoked directly by the machine's firmware or indirectly by the master boot record. As a bootkit infects the startup code of a system, it becomes challenging to remove the malware. Sometimes reformatting and reinstallation of the infected system becomes the only way to get rid of the malware. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more about bootkit or rootkit can visit the website of the security body. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us to get notifications on recent videos.